to expose the lies behind the ANC's so-called promise for six million jobs. In effect, actually, to launch the election campaign and to put on the table what the real choice in this election campaign is about. I mean, the biggest thing uh, confronting us as a country, it's unemployment and poverty. We want six million real jobs. The ANC indicated at their manifesto launch in Mbombela that they would create six million public work opportunities, which are really uh, temporary jobs, two months long, that are not going to really advance people or their families. It does not amount to real work. What the ANC should be doing is promising to create the economic environment required to create six million jobs in the private sector. Uh, the reason why there's no growth in this country is because the ANC in government is incapable of generating that kind of growth within the economy. It is unacceptable that we have an economic output at the level that it is, that we're losing jobs, that in fact 35% 30, of South Africans can't find work, 65% of youth cannot find work. It is a crime. We've known for many weeks that the ANC has been threatening to try to prevent us to march, but we had to come here today. We had to demonstrate to the ANC that it does not own South Africans, it doesn't own us, and it can, cannot dictate to us when and where we can exercise our constitutional right to protest and to express ourselves. We have trained over 500 of our own marshals, and I need to reiterate marshals. Not paramilitary training, marshalling. We've also received some threats of violence from the ANC, from the ANC Youth League, um, starting with the ANC spokesperson Jackson and Tembu. So we've made sure that we've got enough security, that we've got medical personnel on hand in the unlikely event that anything goes wrong. It's a test for democracy that we won't be intimidated in exercising our rights. And I think people that are here, they want to show that uh, when there, there's a genuine issue, a genuine crisis, then they can be allowed to peaceful protest. The ANC needs to get its house in order. We are not enemies. We are opponents in a democratic South Africa. Allow us our freedom to do what we need to do. I love all of these dear supporters who gather here because they gather together understanding what the cause is and what we'd like to do. Here are people who are from all walks of life standing up saying the DA is our party. So this nonsense that there are no black people in the DA or whatever is sheer nonsense. It's propaganda designed to racially polarize South Africans. This is a diverse crowd of South Africans committed to marching for real jobs. The key characteristic of DA supporters is that we are completely democratic and we completely follow the constitution. So when we say we're going to march peacefully, we mean we're going to march peacefully. I'm so proud to be DA today because our people were peaceful. Uh, they marched through the streets, they sang. We were extremely well behaved and well disciplined. And it turned out that uh, we had to turn back because of uh, effectively intimidation. What we've been made aware is the fact that ANC have gathered supporters outside the Tule House in a bid of what they call, we are going to defend the Tule House, as if we are going to attack the Tule House. We got permission to march. All the permissions. The ANC got no permission, but they came. Then they tried to get a protection order against us. us. Yeah. Court, saying they were scared. But we didn't come that with bricks. The ANC came with bricks. And we didn't have an illegal march. The ANC had an illegal march. Very disappointed in the ANC, which showed off to the media and to the public that it had come with bricks and it had come with uh, pangas and knives to try and threaten us with. South Africa has seen the ANC's true colours today. The ANC wants to suppress democratic processes. They've hired people there with sticks and stones. And we are simply saying here, we want to just bring a word. And the word being in the manifesto to say, look here, we want six million real jobs. We're saying that if people want six million real jobs through eight percent economic growth in a decade, they must use their power and fire the one person from his job who is stopping that, and that is Jacob Zuma. In 2009, Zuma promised the people of this country 6 million jobs. In instead, we've lost 1.4 million jobs since he came into office. Now he's coming here trying to tell us a second time that he can pull the wool over our eyes with the so-called 6 million jobs promise. It's a lie. And as long as the ANC is in bed with COSATU and the SACP, and as long as their only priority is to stay in power and not to deliver, they're never going to deliver those jobs. There are those that are connected that can get ahead, that can get a job, that can get a future. And those of us, the majority that are not connected, that are not friends with Jacob Zuma and his cronies. We do not have a future right now. And we are here to say that we are going to stand up for that future and come 7th May, we are going to vote for that future in mass. Hopefully when the DA is in government, we'll have less people here because more people will be working. Real jobs, real jobs. And there's only one party in the whole country that has the policies to do that, and that is... <laughs>